Imagine that you've bought a shiny new LG C1 OLED, unboxed it and hooked it up to your PS5, just itching to play the latest HDR game. But wait, the PS5 shows up an error message saying that the TV is not compatible with 4K HDR content even though you've made sure to select 4K under the HDMI Deep Color submenu of your LG OLED. Sounds awful, right? Well, this is the situation faced by many customers who have bought an LG C1 or G1 OLED TV recently, mainly units with a build date of September or October 2021. It turns out that LG has made some changes in the production of its OLED TVs since August, which is probably necessary to overcome supply chain issues caused by the pandemic, naturally. However, these newly manufactured C1 and G1 OLED televisions with a build date of September 2021 or later are affected by a non-working HDCP 2.2 issue on all four HDMI ports, so external HDMI devices would drop to legacy HDCP 1.4 standard, thus preventing owners from playing 4K HDR games from the PS5 or Xbox Series X, or watching 4K Blu-ray movies from an Ultra HD Blu-ray player. Since the 55-inch LG C1 I bought to review was manufactured back in February 2021, I never encountered this issue, and wasn't even aware of it until a number of my YouTube subscribers and Twitter followers flagged up the HDCP 2.2 problem to my attention. Obviously, I am extremely concerned that the LG C1 and G1 which I have highly recommended in my earlier reviews are now not working with 4K HDR sources over HDMI for some owners, so I asked LG about this problem, and this is their response. This issue has been investigated and LG is preparing to release a software update in the coming weeks. Customers will receive a notification via their TV once the software update is available. For any further questions, please contact the LG Service Center. So, for affected owners, the good news is that no hardware fix is needed, and hopefully a new firmware update will be rolled out within the next few weeks to restore HDCP 2.2 compliance, so you can start to watch 4K Blu-ray movies or play 4K HDR games on your LG C1 or G1. If it's any consolation, some of you will cherish it even more after waiting for so long to do it for the first time. Even though I've tweeted LG's response last week, Many of you are still pinging me about this problem of HDMI HDCP 2.2 not working on the C1 and G1, together with conflicting information from LG's customer service representatives, who, to be fair, may or may not have been briefed about this specific issue. And because I've just realized that I have a bigger audience on YouTube than on Twitter, it again falls to me, the Chinese Harry Potter, to make this video and inform you of the situation. If you are one of the many who are eyeing an LG C1 or G1 OLED TV, especially with Black Friday just around the corner, my advice is for you to at least wait until this firmware fix is out and confirmed to be working by affected owners before parting with your hard-earned cash. I know it's not easy holding off. I struggle most of the time even when I try my hardest. But until the firmware fix is released and tested by trusted parties to have resolved the HDCP 2.2 issue on the C1 and G1 OLED TVs, you never truly know, even though LG has a pretty good track record of keeping its word as far as firmware updates are concerned. Ask yourself this, do you really want to be hanging onto a television which is not working as intended? and the inability to play 4K HDR content from external HDMI sources definitely qualifies as not working as intended in my books, with your return window closing with each passing day while waiting for the firmware fix to drop. I know I wouldn't spend my money with such uncertainty. If you can't wait and absolutely have to buy an LG C1 or G1 OLED now, then I would purchase from a smaller independent whose inventory turnover is not as high, and therefore is more likely to hold stock from before September 2021. That's what I did. I needed a 48-inch LG C1 OLED for an urgent video project, and for some reason, LG UK has sent out its sole 48-inch LG C1 review sample on a long-term loan, 
in November, just before Black Friday, so I was forced to buy one myself. I bought from an independent rather than a big chain store, and fortunately received a unit with a build date of August 2021 that has fully working HTCP 2.2 on the first try. With all this said, it is definitely in LG's interest to release the firmware fix to restore HTCP 2.2 compliance sooner rather than later, preferably before Black Friday, because I expect the C1 OLED to be very popular among gamers, especially for playing 4K 120Hz Dolby Vision games on the Xbox Series X, as I've pointed out in my previous video picking the best TV for this purpose.